That is Rolong in, in blue, Kyomen, Lin, Musun. And I'm Andy. Yes. And this is our uh, mobile games demo. So yeah, um, you guys sort of already know what Megafish is about. You're a fish um, in the ocean. You're on your way to an eating contest. But uh, there, there, there are all these bad fish that want to make your day worse than it already is. And so yeah, you use volcanoes um, either against the bad fish or they can even harm you at the same time. There are these fishermen that try to catch you. Like, you, you've seen it. So this time what we've done is we've implemented a few more um, mechanisms in the environment. Um, so you can interact uh, in more manners with the environment. As well as um, we've cut down uh, strategy requiring levels and made levels that, uh, that are more fun to play. So yeah, this is what's just. Oh, another thing. All artwork is 100% ours. Yeah, I always come by. And they write 100% yeah. <laughs> So yeah, um, yeah. So uh, one thing we decided was uh, the three stars that um, go with general games, like Angry Birds and uh, games in the sim, um, uh, in the same genre. We we decided that was too cliché, so we just put one star, which you get only if you satisfy a whole set of conditions. So that, that's like your perfect start. So this is the instruction level. Those, those little bubbles you see there, they, they sort of light up as you go on them. You, you can't really read what's written here in this video. but And, and that's the achievement. That, um, yeah, so we have like a whole set of achievements as well. So you just own breakfast, that's for eating your first fish. Uh, these little clams are like coins, they're just extra points. So, so this time around we, we decided to cut down on strategies and make the levels more, um, you know, like you, you're just free to play, you know. Because we were sure we can make levels that require strategy, but that, that one says uh, eat the last greenie to finish the level. So, um, okay. um, your score is basically a function of how many fish you eat and how many clams you collect. Uh, fish basically come towards clams and the time you save. And yeah, so these little green check marks are if you finish those levels. We will plan to make them progressive, like you only play level two if you finish level one, so on. But I guess for testing purposes, we decided to chuck that. So level three, we introduce a few more uh, new elements. So there's still a few instructions at this stage. Yeah, let's say something like use the shield to get past those bad fish ahead. Yeah. This one says keep an eye on the on these fish down there, the green, the little green fish over there. This is another power up. So um, you can get power ups both by picking them up. Yeah. So power ups you get. Uh, sometimes power-ups are just lying around on the map. Other times you get by eating many fish in a certain duration. So it, it's a reward your good performance. Which power-up drops on eating all those fish? That's random. But the ones that are on the map, those are fixed. They're, they're kept there for a purpose. So you can use them for a specific, you know, to pass a certain challenge in that particular level. So the one that you just saw, Goo, uh, basically freezes whatever's caught in that for 
a certain period. These little green fish, they mutate into bad guys if you wait too long. That's stealth. So when you use it, uh, no, no fish can detect you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much it. You have the Wawa Yeah, the animations were a pain to make them actually look like they're swimming. So yeah, the, the, the trail of dead skeletons, I mean, no other skeletons, but yeah. <laughs> the trail of skeletons are to uh, indicate where fishermen keep swiping their Very clever. Very yeah. clever. Very nice. So yeah, like, like I said, these levels are just fun. But there's still strategies to be used at certain points. But mostly they're just... <laughs> and, and, so yeah, so another thing about the clams is that you can actually force these little green fish, these ones, the food fish, in, into them, like since the food fish always go away from you, you can direct move in such a way that you force them to eat the clam and then if you eat the fish within 4 seconds after they eat the clams you get like a really high bonus like you see the little sign on the fish let me just show it show what i mean see that that little sign and you got like an extra bonus there. so no, yeah, again really nice reuse of existing mechanics this ability is is like a bomb. It, I, it, it kills whoever's caught in that. Yeah. Shot. Usually you won't have a timer in the middle. Two, three. Yeah. Yeah. But very nice mechanic. Doppelganger. Yeah. That that's a clone. Nice. It's actually a female version of Megafish, <laughs> and, and the bad guy is sort of... Just got a wig. <laughs> That's great. And again, this, is, um, this addresses the universal demographic of mobile games. There's no... There's... Oh yeah, the whale. Um, okay, one, one thing is that there, there, there are way too many things that are environment embedded. That, so I, I keep looking like the big uh, whale in the back over there. Uh, every now and then, over there, in the back, there, oh, okay. every now and then it blows out uh, bubbles from its blowhole. That slows whatever's caught in it. Mm -hmm. So it, it's just like uh, something that's part of the environment that could affect you in a good way or a bad way. Oh, that's a bug, but. <laughs> but e e everything has bugs these days, even Windows 7. <laughs> oh, and th this is this was what we plan to uh, keep as our final level. It's there's a boss fish at the side. Yeah, we we reuse a sprite. So what what he he shoots these little slow moving projectiles every now and then. And if you wait long enough, he shoots these really fast ones that are aimed right at you. Hmm. Which, so basically, as, as time progresses, it gets harder. That's so yeah, an another thing about all these levels is you have a, a normal way to play it, and then you have clever ways. If, if, you, if you think about it, you can actually use your power-ups to reach areas that you wouldn't otherwise be able to reach. Like for, for instance, in this level we use a dash ability to actually go over the wall. Which, there, there are sections like this in every level, but they're sort of really tiny in most levels. Yeah, the ability mouse, you use the same ability seven times or so. Wow, very nice. And very nice, good stuff. Yeah. Uh, any questions for the, for the team? You were uh, running the game in debug mode, right? 
Uh, oh, you mean the frame? <laughs> yeah, frame is coming. So the, we just and like then, it being there, <laughs> so we know exactly where uh, things go back. And, and the dash, there's a timer, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All, all the abilities. So, so uh, if you notice, the the ones on the right over here are things you pick up from the map, oh. like like this uh, ninja power up stealth. Right? It, it pops up as a button over here. But then you have a shop where you can actually buy abilities to be used throughout the level. Now these abilities that you buy just have a cooldown. They're not like a one-time use thing. Mm -hmm. oh. So let me just show you how the cooldown works. I think you can do it with the dash. Right? Yeah, so, okay, here there's a trap. Ah, you can't see it so well. Yeah, we believe it's there. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. You must see the pixel. No, it, it's it's pretty cool. Uh, I see it. I see it. Yeah, yeah, see it. Yeah. There, there, there. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Phew. Yeah, cool okay. <laughs> so yeah, so the abilities that you buy, you can use throughout the level. So th this is another thing that would reward smart players because they would know exactly which ability to, to choose for which levels right. to reach those, uh, you know, hard to access places. And um, yeah, so that's that's about risk reward. Another thing about risk reward is in levels like these, where there are a lot of uh, fishermen, fishnets, uh, really smart players would take the risk to force each and every food fish to eat a clam and then eat it for the extra bonus. But uh, safe players wouldn't do that because since there's so many fishnets going by, they wouldn't want to risk going in unsafe directions. That's good. That, that's another, just like you guys did, there's not one way to play the level and it's the same level. And you're not punishing people for not playing it one way. And that's great. So congratulations to you guys. Great game. Great looking. Thanks for the